On any construction site, men and machines combine to build quickly, cost-effectively and safely. At the heart of all this activity is the crane. Since its founding in 1987, Dutch manufacturer Spearings have benefited the construction industry across Europe by providing a new generation of mobile cranes unmatched elsewhere. The folding crane concept has proved breathtakingly simple and uniquely practical for working in tight urban spaces. The combination of reach and height advantages quickly recognized by hire companies and the construction industry, and which have taken Spearings to the forefront of European crane design. Put simply, the folding crane is a fast-erecting tower crane, mounted on an all-terrain chassis. Its compact and mobile design, which features independent rear axle steer, means access to the most confined spaces. The crane's erection is fully automatic and computer-controlled from a wireless remote control panel. To bring a Spearings crane to its working position, all the erection steps are pre-programmed, with each activity monitored by the driver. Depending on the type of Spearings crane, it takes 7 minutes to erect the 33 meter on a 3 axle carrier and 12 minutes to erect the 60 meter on a 6 axle carrier. By the push of just one button, the erecting process is activated. The main cylinder pushes the tower into its upright position. All the crane motions are hydraulically powered, including the slew and trolley movements, allowing for total precision. Auxiliary cylinders turn the counterweights and fold the A-frame jib into the working position. No extra ballast is required, meaning additional trucks and manpower are made unnecessary, which result in low operational costs. The main cylinder slides the two inner tower sections to full height. The jibs come off the tower, unfolded further by a winch at the top of the tower. At the same time, the A-frame is tightened. With the first three jibs stretched, the fourth swings into position. To complete the process, a fifth jib section slides out of the fourth, which makes a total jib length of 60 meters. At this point, the crane becomes operational, even in conditions of up to wind force 7 and a temperature of minus 20 degrees centigrade. From the driver's cab, there is a complete overview of the site. The driver is always in control, not having to rely on the directions of colleagues, which also allows for better site safety. For additional hook height, the jib can be offset by 30 degrees. You've got a 160 tonner and it won't get down the street, but you can do it with a four axle. That's not a problem. Bob Jones, general manager of crane hire specialist City Lifting, was won over to their use by the constant demands from his customers. A lot of our main contractors are specifying using the Spearings crane now. Because of the confines of these sites, we can put the cranes very close to scaffolding and not become jib bound, the same as if we were going to use a standard teleboom crane. You get 48 meter reach on the five axle crane, that's 1.7 ton at 48 meters and 32 meter tower. The crane is cheaper for the customer than a big mobile crane. It works perfect in small cities like Amsterdam. It's quicker to build up and break down, and you can see the job out of your cab. The operator can see the job, so it's also safer. Always at the forefront of innovation, this crawler crane is now moving from drawing board to production. The 40-meter crane, with additional dolly, is specially designed to reduce axle weights for the Canadian and American markets. The company is hoping that this commitment to innovation, reliability and durability will prove irresistible to crane users the world over.